I am Cindy Conberry, and I'm the founder of a company called Raw Space for Rent. It's an online company, so at rawspaceforrent.com. And I was funded by a group in Oklahoma City called I2E, which I think you're familiar with. Yes. Earlier this year, earlier in 2018. So I'm just, I'm with my own company, growing my company as we speak. That's awesome. That's awesome. So what, what, are you, what message are you going to deliver to us today? Well, I'm going to describe what I've been doing in the kind of a hockey stick rate of growth I've had since I2E stepped in. And, you know, hopefully I'll be able to talk a little bit about their support and how local collaborations and partnerships really are essential to growing a company in a healthy community. Mm -hmm. Also, I have some national partnerships that I'm really happy with. So, you know, I really believe in local collaboration partnerships and everybody kind of supporting each other. It has to be that way. We're just getting this off the ground. What, what's your vision for the next 18 to 24 months? Uh, well, I have a two-sided market. Raw space for rent functions like Airbnb, but we represent all different types of spaces. For instance, I was just at the Douglas High School over on Hall and 6th. They have restored it to a beautiful auditorium and a downstairs event space. So I'll have a listings like that for rehearsal spaces, weddings, that type of thing. We don't have overnight accommodations, so that's the difference between Airbnb. We connect people looking for unique space to people who have unique space. So I have been really busy building up a solid base of listings. We have about 200 listings, and wow. my next phase is to work on the second side of the market, you know, having people rent and utilize the spaces. So it really is kind of a, I don't want to say chicken and egg. I think I already got the chicken or I got the <laughs> egg. I'm not sure who I got first, but you know, you have to do one side, then you do the other side, then you sort of. Flip. How did how did you get into this? What was the inspiration for the um, you business? know, Pritch, really simple. I'm not a big overthinker. Sometimes that's good and sometimes not so good, but uh, I have a guest house at my house and I put it on Airbnb and I really liked the way the model worked. You know, I really got familiar with their model of doing business. I also learned a lot about the company in that more than fifty percent of the hosts are women. More than 50% of the hosts are women over, I don't know, say 50 who are making the monthly gap. You know, it really is a, a service that creates an income for people to get to the end of the month without creating more debt. And I felt that that was a really good thing for society, you know, because if I'm going to put my energy towards something, it has to have a positive benefit. Right. So. I, you know, I was learning a lot about Airbnb a little more deeply, and one day I was standing in my garage, and I thought, why do I need to have a bed? Why do I have to have sleep? Why can't I just rent this garage? I have a lot of friends who are artists who are looking for gallery space. I have entertainer friends. They were looking for performance space. So I just had a light bulb moment, and I thought, I should have an Airbnb that has weird spaces. And I literally rented out a garden. My first rental was to rent out a shared garden. And then I had some beekeepers looking for a place to put beehives. So yeah. I rented some beehives, <laughs> you know. I mean, it can be anything. Yeah. And this is unique to this market, is it not? It's very unique. Um, I started building the website in late 2015, and I did my first beta test in Oklahoma City in 2016. At the same time, I've had competitors start in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and New York. Uh -huh. They have pretty decent venture capital behind them, but they have no presence in the middle of the country at all. And another you know, subject I'm going to talk today is the marketing techniques that I used here because I think that created a completely separate value proposition for the company. Just the marketing that I'm used here can be applied to any company that wants to grow in the middle of the country. It's a different world, it's a different standard of doing business, and it's just a completely different approach. I learned that of the top 100 sharing companies, sharing companies are Uber, car sharing, Airbnb, VRBO, that type of thing. The top 100 sharing platforms, less than 10% have a presence in the middle of the country which is wow. really surprising. It's 47% of right. the gross domestic product. <laughs> you know, it's a big, big market. Right. So I've been really, really excited just about the marketing techniques and 
you know, it's like exploring a new wilderness, how to connect differently than you connect in L.A. or you connect right. in New York. It's fascinating yeah. and really fun. That's awesome. So next 18, 24 months, what are you thinking about? Well, I, we've grown our listing base to a pretty solid, you know, foundation. And I think we're going to expand. We're going to expand into the rental market. I have to hire more people and definitely be looking at a Series A round. I did get a $500,000 seed round, which, you know, by mm, the first, second quarter of 2019, I'll be looking to get into Series A because I do need to expand. Yeah. So that's, you know. That's it. Yeah, it's a it's a twenty four seven situation. <laughs> but a labor of love. No yeah, 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 definitely. It has to be. It's yeah. fun, and I meet great people, and yeah. I get to be here. So. <laughs> it's awesome. So, what have I forgotten to ask you? Nothing. I think you did a pretty good job. <laughs> I can't think of anything. We covered it. 